We've been working on a magnetic chess set that sticks to our cubicle wall. Maybe we'll share the completed project someday, but today's story is about the importance of prototyping. The question we're trying to answer is, what magnet strength do we need for this project? To answer it, we want to build something and try it out in our own hands. We 3D printed eight identical chess pieces. At the bottom of each pawn is an indentation to glue a thin disc magnet. And each magnet size is a little bigger than the last. We used a gel super glue for the adhesive. It held well, but it can be a little messy if you apply too much. We used a kind of magnet fixture with a magnet underneath a sheet of plastic, which made sure that each piece had the same magnetic pole facing out. This really isn't required for something that's sticking to a steel wall, but we just want it to be consistent. We did accidentally glue a magnet to the table. How does it feel? It's hard to show in a video, but the first piece felt definitely, positively way too weak. The slightest tap knocks it free. The second piece is also pretty weak, but there's definitely some improvement. Above that size, the strength keeps increasing, but the question of which feels best starts to become less certain. A casual survey of folks around here had some liking those in the middle range, around the 3 8 inch diameter D61 magnet, while others wanted just the strongest choice that was available. An informal drop test shows how the first piece fails to catch onto the wall at all. The second grabs it after a bit of a fall. The result for all of them looks like a graph of increasing strength that levels off as they all pass the test. That one really just want to leap, wants to leap out of your hand. Yeah. So which magnet size should we choose for this chess project? Probably somewhere in the range of the quarter inch to half inch diameter disc magnet. From there, the choice gets interesting, balancing strength versus feel versus cost. What strength will you choose for your next magnet project? Consider getting a small order first, with a bunch of sizes around a likely target. That way, you can make the same kinds of hands-on evaluation. Well, to get it. Yeah. Although none of them really interfere too much with each other. Yeah. 